But for now, let's move on to article number two. And we're going to be looking at a joint effort between NASA's Jet Proportion Laboratory and the Department of Homeland Security. Now, you might be thinking, what an odd pairing. Is uh, Homeland Security trying to go to Mars? And the answer is no. But they do want to protect firefighters. Um, every year, about 80 to 100 firefighters pass away in the line of work. And obviously, you want to make sure that they're as safe as possible. And one of the issues here is that once a firefighter enters a building, the longer they're in there, the risk of getting um, a fatal injury increases. And once they're in the building, you're not really sure where they are because, you know, they spread out to put out fires or help people. And not knowing where they are can lead to complications if you need to go and retrieve them if it's been too long that they've been in the building. So with that in mind, these two came together to create a system that basically just tracks firefighters in buildings and make sure that they're healthy. So they all they're doing is using some sensors to determine their location. Yep, you got it. I imagine, just based on some previous knowledge, I know that <clears throat> they can't use GPS or radio for this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that typically gets interfered by external structures. So what are they using? Yeah, you're absolutely right. RF and GPS, although they work great outside, um, materials inside of buildings actually interfere. So they're either okay. inaccurate or they straight up just don't work. They're using something that I've never heard of before, which is magneto quasi static fields. And just for my sake, we're just going to call it MQS from here on out. Yeah, I'm cool with MQS. <laughs> so MQS, the cool thing about it is that all the materials that RF and um, GPS struggle with are essentially invisible to MQS. That means the, the waves can permeate. Cool. Dope. That means you can use it inside of buildings. Um, and the way they've structured this system is that you have a transmitter, a receiver, and a base. So the transmitter is going to be on the fire truck and it's going to transmit these MQS waves. The receiver is going to be on the sensor pack that every single firefighter is going to wear. And every time they're sensed by the field, they bounce back a signal to the base, which is essentially a laptop on the truck that is going to create a visual representation of where all these firefighters are at. Now, a cool note, not only do you know the position of the firefighters, but you know their orientation. So whether they've fallen down or they're still standing up. Awesome. And you can look at a map and know where they are in this structure at all times. That's right. A um, couple quick um, figures about how accurate the system is and its limitations and whatnot. Currently, this iteration can operate within a range of 70 meters. And they've determined that that's really all you need for most uh, occurrences where you need firefighters. And the accuracy of it, they did a recent test in a three-story building. It's accurate within plus or minus one meter in the worst case scenario. But in the best case scenario, or typically like a normal operation, it's just a couple mm -hmm. centimeters. So this is like... That's incredible. Yeah, it's pretty good at determining where people are at all throughout the building. And if well, so, and I know like even the standard that we use for outdoor location, GPS is only accurate within like two to three meters. So their new system is more accurate than GPS, which we kind of use as the gold standard for locating someone. Yeah. So I'm excited for this, man. Like it, it would be so great to limit injuries, obviously. And firefighters do so much. They help our communities. And this is just such a great effort from these two organizations to come together and protect these people that do so much to protect us. I agree. My younger brother, Caleb, is a firefighter. So, you know, sometimes I worry about if he goes in a structure fire and they can't locate him if he get injured or hurt or killed. But something like this kind of gives a level of assurance in that, you know, with this type of technology rolling out, there's an extra safety blanket and um, using technology to make sure that, you know, some of the bravest people um, going in and putting out fires and saving people um, are also protected as well. So I think this is great. Definitely. I agree with you.